Hi, my name is Nicole and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Today uh, I'm going to show you how to make a sweet potato side dish that I don't know that it really has a name, uh, but what you're going to need for this recipe is asparagus, bell peppers, I have green here, you can use red or yellow or orange, whichever uh, you have available or whichever you like more, uh, sweet potatoes and some butter. So those are the ingredients you're going to need. Um, when I cook, I usually don't have precise measurements. Uh, I actually have a third potato that I've already peeled. So I'm going to try to put three potatoes in this. I don't know that I'll get it, get it there, but uh, I'll let you know exactly what I do uh, in the caption box below this video. And um, so let's get started. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to clean and peel my sweet potatoes and then clean and chop up my asparagus and bell pepper. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, in the meantime, I will see you in a moment. I've chopped up two of the three sweet potatoes and as you can see it made quite a lot. So I'm going to take uh, that leftover sweet potato and put him back in the refrigerator uh, for later use. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, start cooking my sweet potatoes uh, on the stove there and um, while those are cooking I am going to chop up my bell pepper and my asparagus so uh, to get the sweet potatoes uh, started cooking uh, you're gonna need a large pan and then a glass of water so once I get that uh, going I will show you guys what it looks like okay to start the process what I've done is I've turned my stove or my burner on high with the pan on it and I'm just going to throw sweet potatoes into the pan just like this and then I am going to add the water. I'm going to add a full glass of water as you can see it's kind of pulled there uh, and then I'm going to get a piece of aluminum foil and I'm going to place it over this uh, to start cooking uh, and softening the potatoes. Okay here's the where I am in the process. Uh, I've cooked the potatoes, sweet potatoes, and they are fork tender, so that's how I want them. They're not mushy, but they're, you know, fork tender. Um, I have cooked off all the water that I put in there. Uh, I had to pour some of it off because I had a little too much. But as you can see, uh, the sweet potatoes are cooked. Uh, I have not finished cutting up my bell peppers and my asparagus yet, so what I'm going to do is I pulled this off the heat and I'm going to let it sit while I finish that up and then I uh, will be right back with you. Okay, I have finished cutting up the bell peppers and the asparagus and I've added them to my sweet potatoes along with two tablespoons worth of butter. Uh, I'm going to start cooking this probably on about medium uh, and I'll probably add a little bit of water to it just to keep the moisture to it and keep it from burning. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and cook this up and then I will show you guys the final product. Uh, I did want to give you guys a shot of what this looks like when it's cooking. Uh, as you can see I've got it covered again. I've had to add a little bit of water and uh, the butter is, you can kind of see the water and butter and everything cooking together. So that's what it looks like as it's cooking. Okay, this is the final product straight off the skillet. Uh, as you can see uh, the bell peppers and everything are mixed in with the sweet potatoes. All those flavors are mixed in with the sweet potatoes. That's why I don't cook them separately. Um, I usually just salt this. Uh, you can add garlic salt for a little bit of flavor or whatever um, seasoning you feel that it needs. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Uh, and if you like what you saw, subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful day.